Okay, so we're nearly arriving in our destination. Um, so where are we? I'll give you start to give you some clues. We're in North Wales. Um, we're going towards the Llyn Peninsula. Anybody know what that is? No. Okay. Um, we've got the Irish Sea. It's going to be very close to us. We've got some stunning views. A lot of people play golf for different reasons. I know it's nice to get out and have a bit of uh, banter with your mates at times, but I also love the isolation that golf can offer sometimes. Um, especially at a course like this. I know that it's very quiet this morning. Not a lot of people around. And uh, so it'll be me, the sea, the seagulls, golf course, and I suppose you'll be coming along as well, but I just about see on the horizon the golf club, so next time you see me, I'll tell you where we are. Okay, so I'm not sure if any of you would have guessed this one, but I'm at Nevin Golf Club. This is the backdrop. I'm on the ninth tee. That's adjacent to the first green. I've just played the first hole. I want to bring you here because quite simply, it's absolutely stunning to look at. I've been waiting for a nice day and this looks like it's going to be an absolute stunner. It's uh, late October in the UK. Don't get many days like this. And look at many days where it's absolutely benign here at uh, Nevin, no wind whatsoever. So hopefully I'll get some drone shots up for you as well and show you just quite why I think this is an absolute stunning golf course to play. Okay, so what is it about Nevin I like so much? Well, I love golf courses by the sea. Um, Lynx golf courses are my favourite and I wouldn't class uh, Nevin as a Lynx golf course. Uh, it's set on the Flynn Peninsula, which is a bit of mention on the journey down, and uh, that's kind of got, it's North Wales, Patheli, Abersock is out on that peninsula as well. Closest nearby, you've got Royal St. David's, Port Maddock, Abersock, Patheli, and then a little bit further up the coast, you've got likes of Conway, Prostatin. It's a great golfing region, North Wales, and uh, great, loads of places to stop off and stay. And I like, this is about two hours from where I live, like I said, maybe now on three quarters. But I just love the isolation of the place, you know, you just, uh, it's so quiet here this morning. I'm pretty much got here for first tea and uh, yeah, it's just me and the birds, that's it. Anyway, and on top of that, they've got some great holes, which is this, look at this, par three. It's uh, pretty much green or bust, I think. What a great golf hole this is though. Well, that one's bunkered, got a little bit fat, but like I said, nothing takes away from the pleasure. You know the good thing about playing golf on your own? I always win. I'm not going to be recording many holes today because, like I said, I like playing these golf courses in isolation. Miserable, eh? I'm going to show you this one anyway. We'll play it from start to finish. Par four, right across, across the cliff face. You can see that sort of, uh, well, it's a watchtower for the uh, lifeguards on, uh, on the left, high on the left there. That's where the green is uh, to the left of that. So, obviously, very much a risk and reward. We're going to cut a bit of the corner off but not too much whilst that camera's switched on. That's a decent ball. Have you got enough? I'm not sure that's got enough. You know, it just might have fell a little bit short and we've not quite carried, but we'll be safe. 
I've literally got here by the skin of my teeth and believe me there's a huge drop down there the line wasn't uh, where I was obviously playing you need to go a lot further right I mean, it's one tough hole I don't think it was the best of drives uh, cause I've still got 196 the pin is nestled in between um, in between the rock face I suppose really you can see a, um, down the middle between the lighthouse tower or the watchtower um, 40 yards right of that there's a little pin nestled away this is probably the wrong club it most definitely is in fact I don't think I can play that I'm not walking back for another club this is gonna pull left that's not a bad effort you know chasing down it did pull slightly left and the line was 10 yards right of the watchtower give me a little bit of a chip and it could have been a lot worse I suppose like I say, pull this one, but expected to off that uh, lie with me feet well below the ball. Probably wasn't a hybrid, but I got away with it. The green is tucked over the top of this mound, about 50 yard, a little bit of a flop shot really. Let's see if we can get on the dance floor. That's not bad I think, pin eye. Maybe. Let's go and have a look. I was pressing that many camera buttons on record there. I forgot to uh, include you in that, but as you see, I made a rather miraculous par. Pretty decent put, that one. Uh, had a jogger to contend with as well, he was doing his little morning run, a bit healthier than I am, but yeah, fantastic par four, but more importantly, just have a look behind me, in fact, have a look around me, wait there. This is what I'm looking at at the minute, so that was in the backdrop, and then if you pan to the right, this is what you're surrounded by. Now. I'm being honest, I didn't care whether I made par or triple bogey when I'm looking at views like that. Maybe that's a bit of a lie. Now this hole is worth the journey on its own. It's a par 3 where right behind you is that watchtower we've seen on a previous hole. It's a par 3, I'm about to get a yardage on it. Drops right down. Don't go long because you're in the sea. Uh, stunning par 3 hole. And once again, just surrounded by these... Uh, Irish Sea, it's just gorgeous up here. Right, yardage. One sixty-three. Downhill. I don't know. What do you reckon? Eight, seven. Let's have a pop. Right, easy part. Now got the yardage. I'm going to go seven iron. Winds off that left. Pity you have to go off mats, I suppose, but it'd be difficult to get a lawnmower up here, as you can appreciate. It's a bit remote. Come on, get on a little bit of a tough. That ain't happening. There you go. Right. Sun has come out. How nice is that? I don't really want to move from this spot, but there's a four ball coming up behind me. Come on, and swing it a bit better. Do this place a bit of justice. That's nice. This could be good. Come on, wind, drift me in a bit. I think it was the wrong choice of iron. I think it's long. Beautiful strike. Even though I do say so myself. Uh, but yeah, it's long and left. So, uh, can't be that good of a strike. But what a golf hole. Sun coming up. Man, how nice is this? That's every rough back there, do not go long. Yeah, mistake I suppose. Just about held on. I'm not going back for the putter. Maybe I should have. Right, I'll take a minute to get me breath back and uh, in a minute I'll show you if you just heard a dog bark and I'll show you exactly where because one of the other very quirky things about Nevin Golf Club is uh, it's got a pub in the middle of it. Well, 
not quite in the middle of it, but uh, behind the camera, I want to show it to you very shortly. I'm not going to walk down there this morning because it's 10 to 10. I don't think it's the right time to have a pint of Guinness. Maybe it is. But I'll, um, if you're having a bad round, you can always uh, walk off after sort of, I think it's about 13, 14 holes and go and get yourself a pint and look at the uh, sea coming in. It's a quirky place and it's a real interesting golf course. And like I said, I love it for lots of different reasons. But what I do think is that these are the type of courses where I don't care how I play, to be honest with you. I just love what's around me. And uh, I suppose, like I said, that's why I, I do enjoy playing golf on my own at times. It's a great place to be out here early, watching the sun come up. It sounds romantic, this, doesn't it? I'll take a sip of coffee before I get choked. And uh, yeah, it's just awesome place, awesome place. Wales is a great place and North Wales got some great golf courses. So I think I'll sign off here really. You haven't seen a lot of golf today. I might show you a few more clips of me playing on the way in. Um, but it's not by no means a course vlog. It was just to show you around one of the places that I really like to play. And uh, like I said, here's a few drone shots hopefully because the wind, when I said it was benign, it then picked up. It's a little bit still now. So I'm gonna try and get some drone shots for you. And I'll show you what is the uh, the tea cork, which I think is the Red House pub. Right, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you soon. <laughs>